Welcome to ETMC TV and this physician consultation with Joseph Conflitti, MD, orthopedic surgeon at the ETMC Orthopedic Institute. Dr. Conflitti will discuss hip pain and hip replacement surgery. Thank you for choosing ETMC TV. The typical problem that people have if we're considering hip arthritis is hip or groin pain, sometimes back pain, um, difficulty with getting up out of bed, stiffness in the morning, uh, difficulty with bending, going up and down stairs, really everyday activities, everyday ac activities of daily living. But the typical pain that is exhibited is in the hip in terms of the front of the thigh and also in the groin. And those two symptoms are, are the main ones that we look for. In the hip specifically, there's a socket and then there's the ball. And both surfaces have cartilage, which is very, very smooth and was what the joint is actually doing, is moving without really any friction. For whatever reason, and it could be environmental, it could be genetic, that cartilage starts to break down and then that's the, the cause of the symptoms. The body makes a response to that, which typically is joint um, spurs and it can be also extra joint fluid, inflammatory markers, and those are the things then that a patient notices in terms of pain and stiffness and decreased activity, decreased range of motion. There are patients that need a hip replacement when they're 30, depending on how severe their arthritis is, and that arthritis can be from a genetic problem from birth. If you have a hip dysplasia or hip problem as a child, at age 30 it may be very, very severe and you have no quality of life, you can't function, and that may be the time for it. It could be someone in their uh, later years, in their 50s, 60s, 70s even, that have the same issues. I, I look at everybody individually. Uh, we want to make sure that the diagnosis is correct, that it is arthritis. We want to give that patient an adequate opportunity for conservative care, therapy, anti-inflammatories, injections. If that's not going to help and they still note poor quality of life, then it's time. In terms of the surgery, it would um, be typically considered a hip replacement or a total hip replacement. And I have a model here that we can show that this is what is done. The hip socket here is replaced with a metal implant and then inside the femur is a, another implant that's a stem that goes inside the canal. And then the joint, as you can see here, then is a nice smooth joint from the ball and socket. There are other um, options in terms of metal and plastic or metal and metal that we would, can talk about depending on the patient's age and um, size and those sorts of things. So that's, that's the implant that is used. The hospital stay is three to five days typically. They are up and moving. They can bear full weight starting on the very first day after surgery. And then the next six weeks is really spent in intensive therapy to try to increase and return that range of motion and strength back. What we do typically uh, after the surgery is done, we see a patient at two weeks to get their stitches out, make sure the wound is fine and that they're progressing as we had anticipated. We see them at six weeks to do x-rays to make sure that the implant is where we think it is. Three months then is the next one, again, really to document and confirm that their progress has been as we anticipate. They don't have any additional discomfort or problems. And then we do follow the patient yearly. The main thing, I think, is that patients have to realize that hip replacement is a very good surgery. Dr. Joseph Conflitti is part of the ETMC Orthopedic Institute, located at 700 Olympic Plaza, Suite 600 in Tyler, Texas. Patients can either be referred to Dr. Conflitti by their primary care physician or schedule their own appointment by calling 903-596-3844. More information about hip pain and hip replacement surgery is available online at www.etmc.org orthopedics. The informative site contains videos and links to other research resources recommended by the Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Joseph Conflitti, MD, is a board-certified orthopedic surgeon who graduated with honors as a doctor of medicine from Texas A&M Health Science Center in College Station. Dr. Conflitti completed a general surgery internship at Wilford Hall Medical Center at Lackland Air Force Base in Texas, the Aerospace Medicine Program at Brooks Air Force Base in Texas, an orthopedic surgery residency at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, and a fellowship in orthopedic trauma at the University of Washington Harborview Medical Center in Seattle.